What's up guys, my name is Andy, and in this video we're going to replace the cigarette lighter in my 1966 Mustang. This thing's pretty corroded and it's already pretty bad inside there, so let's go ahead and replace this housing and the cigarette lighter itself. What we're going to replace it with is these Scott Drake replacement parts, and it's kind of hard to see. There's the part number for the cigarette lighter, and then for the housing, uh, there's the part number for that. And uh, what this is going to do, uh, first of all, when you guys order this, uh, if you ever have to do that, mem just remember that this, and these are two separate pieces, <laughs> I just ordered this and just assumed that this came with it, and uh, it doesn't. <laughs> They're separate things, so don't forget to order them uh, if you need both. So what we're going to need to do to take this out and replace this is we're going to need to go through the tools to take this apart. The first tool that you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver for taking the screws out of the dash. And that's it. No other tools are needed. This is pretty simple. This setup here just unscrews from itself. And I'll show you how to do that once we get in here. And then we'll just unplug the back, put the new one in, and then we'll be done. Underneath the gauge cluster, there's two screws underneath here and there's four across the top. Unfortunately, I don't have all of my screws in here. I don't know where they are, but they weren't here when I bought the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out the screws that I do have, and then we can get behind this gauge cluster. And when you start to pull this out, you might be able to do this with leaving your speedometer attached, because where we're trying to get to is right in here, and you might be able to reach in here and hold the stuff. But you may find it's easier to undo the speedometer cable from the back of the speedometer, and it just unthreads off the back. And that way we can just kind of move the dash out of the, move the, the gauge cluster out of the way a little bit. Now we can get back here and grab a hold of this stuff much easier. Yeah, you can see how now it's kind of hard with the, with the light back behind, but it's kind of corroded inside here. Also, up inside the, the dash, what we're going after is this piece right here, and then there's one wire on the back. So we're just going to go ahead and unplug this wire, and it just pulls off the back. Okay, and this is what the connector looks like. When we unplug that, now this thing is disconnected from the car. There's nothing else touching in the back here, and just make sure you don't lose like I did. There we go. This wire right here. In my car, it's a blue wire. It might be the same color in your car. So the secret to doing this is you can, if you put your thumb in here and kind of hold this inside piece and reach back behind here and just unscrew the, the housing on the back, it just comes off like that, and then this just comes out the front. And that's it. Now look at all the dirt coming out of here. Whew. It's, it's all rusty and corroded. So that's the old housing. There's no reason to throw this away. You might be able to clean it up, but really we're not going to use it anymore. And now we can go ahead and install the new one. Once you get out of the package, we're just going to go ahead and disassemble these two halves. Just unscrew the back piece off of here. And I do want to point something out. This one comes with this tab. And if you remember on, on my stock one, I have that post that the, the terminal goes through. That post is still here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spin this off of here like so. There, that comes off. Now we still have the post, we can put that wire back on there, and everything will still fit in the car. So if you want to put this in first, and take the housing, and go on the back side of it, put your thumb in the middle just to hold it in place, and then just, you're essentially just screwing it on the back. You're going to set it down tight, there we go, and then don't forget that wire that we had, so we're just going to go ahead and put it on the back terminal there, the one that we just took this piece off of. Put that back on there now. Now we can put the instrument cluster back in and if you did take the speedometer cable off, you're going to want to remember to hook that back up before you put this back inside. Some patience is required. Don't forget to put the screws back in the dash. Okay, and then the last step is to just go ahead and put the new cigarette lighter in here. I was going to point out too that this old one here is, it's it's broken and it's coming apart. So it was another reason why I had to replace it. So it's okay, the new one's ready to go. Put it in. That's it. You guys are done. Simple as that. Um, just remember guys, don't forget to plug that wire back in the back there. Because if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.